How to create Printify products in bulk. If you clicked on this video, you're probably extremely bored of coming into the Printify interface, clicking around, finding your products, coming here, start designing, click upload, find your images, upload, wait for it to upload, select the variants, blah, 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 doing all these tedious manual steps individually for each one of the products that you need to create. You're probably sick and tired of doing this and trying to find a way to streamline this process to where you can do it automatically on autopilot for all the products you need to create. We're going to show you exactly how to do that here using the bulk POD product creator, which is a tool that allows you to automate the creation of your print on demand products. We're going to show you how to use this tool. We're going to set up an automated operation and we're going to use this tool to create a bunch of new products on our Printify store. Step one, select your image files. That's pretty straightforward. We're just going to come here to our folder, control a select all, and just like that, we have 28 image files selected. One useful thing about this tool is that it will automatically upscale all of your images to a high resolution and 300 DPI. Uh, this is useful for creating products where you're not selling pixelated, low resolution trash to your customers. Instead, what it does, it'll automatically make sure all of your images are the required size and DPI to keep Printify happy and to keep your customers happy. So there's two options here. You can either stretch images to fit the print areas, or you can preserve the original image aspect ratios. For the products I'm creating, we're going to use this first option here because for wall posters, you want to make sure obviously that it fills up the whole space. You don't want white space or anything like that. We want to make sure that the images fill the entire print area. And the cool thing about this product, when you have this option selected, even if you have different variants where the aspect ratio is different, like 30 by 20, that's a three by two. Maybe you select another one like a 24 by 18. The cool thing about using this option is for each of the images, it'll resize them to where regardless of the aspect ratio that you have selected, it'll make sure that each of the images, each of the variants fits perfectly and fills the full container size. So that's pretty useful. And that's what we're going to do for this particular operation. Step two, select your example product. Now this is where we actually connect the tool to our Printify store and then specify what type of product do we want to be creating. First, we'll connect the store. We'll come here. We'll click connect another store. Uh, we'll need to input our Printify API key. So you can follow this link here. It'll take you to the connections page, account API, or alternatively, you can just go to the accounts connection section. It'll take you to the same page. All you need to do is create an API token. What API tokens allow you to do is basically have other software tools connect to your Printify store so they can perform the required operations in terms of uploading the images, selecting the variants, creating the products, changing the text inputs, all that fun stuff. So you just create the token. It'll give you a little code to copy. Mine's already copied to my clipboard, so you can just come over here. Then you just paste the API key and we're good to go. Next, we'll need the Printify store ID. This you can find on the orders page for your store. So you can just come here, go up to the URL. There's a little number string here. You can just copy that, paste it, and click connect my store and bingo, just like that, our store is connected. Next, we'll select our example product to use. You can come here, select a product. And what we need to do is find the product ID of our example product, which is sort of like a template or a role model that we're using for the automated operation here. So I have this particular one set up, wall poster example product. You just click on the product, go to the product page, and there's a little number string here, letter string. You just copy this, paste it in here. That's a unique ID for that particular product. And then you hit save product and our product is selected. So the example product, this is used as a sort of template or a role model for the automated operation. Basically for each of your selected image files, it'll create more of these products using the variants you have selected, using the price points you have set up, except using each of these artwork images and it'll just make more of those products basically. Final step is the product creation rules. This is where you set up the product titles, descriptions and tags for each product, how you want them to look, how you want them to be created. Uh, for our particular case, we're just gonna generate using AI for all three of these. Uh, we'll start with the title section up here. If you want, you can use the default, which just uses your standard image file names. If you have specific names set up, maybe you want it to be super accurate or you just have, you know, specific naming convention you're following. Cool. You can use the default. Otherwise you can just click generate using AI and it'll actually pass all of your images through an AI image recognition tool, which creates very accurate descriptions featuring, you know, keywords, which are great for SEO. And it just uses the AI to do this automatically instead of you needing to sit there and rack your brain and do all of that boring work yourself. You can also come down here. This is good for SEO purposes. You can actually include additional custom text in each created product. So since we're creating posters on our store,
before, we're going to make sure each of our titles includes this little text string here. And so there's a little template here which shows how this works, where there's basically the AI generated part at the front, plus whatever custom text you put here. So the AI might come up with full moon landscape. It might come up with, uh, you know, beautiful galactic lake scene or w whatever it is. It'll do that plus the extra text you put at the end. So this is good for SEO purposes because if somebody's searching the internet, I'm looking for a poster wall art featuring a full moon landscape. Cool, you have both parts in there and it makes it more likely that your products are gonna show up and rank for those particular searches. If you want, you can switch it around like this and you can put this part at the front, poster wall arts, whatever it happens to be. For our particular case, we are going to do it at the back half like this, whoopsie daisy. Poster wall arts. Use this little arrow, flip it around, and we're just going to use this format. So that's good to go. We're going to come down to product descriptions, where once again, we're going to generate using AI. There's also this section here where you can include custom HTML in each of your descriptions. And so that's useful if you have more generic information about the products. Uh, you can come here, you can select this, copy the HTML source code itself. This is useful for the general information about your products, like cleaning instructions, size, weight information, whatever general information you have about the posters or canvas art or t-shirts or whatever this can give you the more generic information about the product if customers have you know questions about that stuff you can just paste that in there and then this is similar to the title where it'll do the ai generated part plus the custom stuff that you typed here for each created product if you want you can flip the order we're going to do the ai generated stuff at the top and so that's going to be specific to each created product and then this is the more generic stuff for all of the products. Final thing is the product tags. Once again, you guessed it, we're gonna generate using AI. You can also come down here and basically for each product that gets created, you can add more generic tags to each one. So for what we're doing, poster wall arts, poster arts, wall decor, home decor, wall prints and art prints. Now this is useful because uh, if you're creating, you know, one category of products on your store, like posters or canvas art or t-shirts, a lot of e-commerce websites like Shopify will allow you to actually create collections based on the tags that your products have. So instead of needing to come to your Shopify store and manually find all of the products and say, this one's a poster, this one's a poster, put it in the poster collection. If you do tag-based collections, this is really useful because you can just say, all of these are gonna have the poster art tag. And then on your store, that can just set it up so cool. All 28 of these will automatically get dumped into that collection. Saves you time. You don't need to come in and categorize and manually organize stuff. If you set your tags up correctly and if you have the right rules on your store, this can help to streamline that process as well. We're going to click create my products. It'll say initializing your operation, creating your products, and now we can just sit back and relax. This tool is just going to be working its magic. It's going to be upscaling the images, resizing them as needed, uploading them to Printify, creating the products, passing the images through the AI image recognition to generate the text inputs, all that good stuff, completely automated, 100% on autopilot. So here we are back on the products page, went ahead and hit refresh, and as you can see, the tool is just steadily cranking out the products. We'll go ahead and pop a couple of these open and take a look at what we got here. Lunar Dreamscape, this is what the AI came up with, and then obviously we have the extra text that we appended to each product. Uh, we can scroll down here. Uh, this is the description section where we have the more generic stuff. This was the stuff that we copied for each one, and then this is the product-specific text that the AI came up with. This breathtaking digital artwork depicts an otherworldly landscape bathed in vibrant pink and purple hues. A massive glowing moon dominates the sky, blah, blah, blah. Pretty accurate stuff. Uh, you know, it really understands the images and it does a great job of accurately describing the mood, the artwork style, uh, the colors, all that stuff. So this is really good for SEO purposes and making sure that your products show up when people are searching for this specific style and type of artwork. And then of course down here we have the tags, digital art, sci-fi landscape, fantasy world, alien planets. Uh, really accurate stuff specific to the actual art piece that you're passing into it. And then we have these more generic tags as well where we said home decor, wall prints, poster arts. Uh, so everything looks good. It carried over the prices that we had, retail price, so we don't need to waste our time typing that. We'll go ahead and step into this one as well just so we can take a closer look. As you can see, everything is looking good. Everything fits perfectly. And I deliberately included a differently sized 
variant here just so I could show this feature here where we set stretch images to fit print areas. As you can see here, this is even though it's a different aspect ratio, the full artwork image still gets included. It just created a different image that's perfectly sized for this particular one. You know, if it needs to, the tool will create multiple different images based upon the different variants that you have. Uh, all of them are high resolution, all of them fit perfectly. So this is useful even if you have different variants selected. So that's looking good. We'll go ahead and step back here, look at another one, Aurora's Dance, Poster Wall Arts, Breathtaking Image, Mesmerizing Beauty of the Aurora Borealis, Serene Winter Landscape, Vibrant Colors of Pink, Purple, Blue, blah, blah, blah. Really good stuff, very accurate. It's completely automated, 100% on autopilot. And it is just chugging along, cranking this stuff out, uh, really saving us a lot of time versus doing this manually one at a time. We'll take a look at some of these more evil uh, dark artwork pieces because some of these are actually really dope. Hellfire Demon, poster wall art, that's a pretty sick piece of artwork, I mean, come on, that's pretty dope stuff. Welcome down here, terrifying demonic creature, glowing red eyes, and a menacing grin full of sharp teeth. So really, I mean, the AI image recognition, it's shockingly accurate, it does a really good job of actually understanding what the image contains, even for images like this, where it's just a sort of partial scene, no problem, landscapes, aurora borealis, hellfire demons, demonic apparitions, it really does a shockingly good job of accurately describing the artwork, using all the terms needed for SEO, and just imagine coming in here and doing this individually for all your products. You might think, okay, one product, not a big deal, I can just type a shitty little paragraph paragraph real fast. But if you're creating dozens of products, or maybe you have a folder like this where you have 171 products inside of here, if you're coming in individually, you got to sit here, rack your brain. I got to type the description. I got to think of all the art terms. You know, we got to come in here. Okay, let's, let's see here. Let's take a look at this Hellfire Demon. This artwork piece features a demonic creature with glowing red, orange eyes and some kind of blade thing that's maybe his arm or some kind of weapon this dark evil artwork piece is the perfect fa I'm I mean this is just two three sentences I've written I'm already getting bored of doing this just imagine I got to do this tedious monotonous repetitive work for hundreds of art pieces just come here talk about the purple hills talk about the clouds all right I got to come here I got to type a description about the waves I got to type about the the snow there's a mountain there are some trees it's really just a tedious repetitive task that's just a big waste of your time especially when you're doing bulk operations creating tons of products and it's really useful to just be able to pass your images into this tool. It creates the products, creates the variants you want, everything is sized correctly, everything is upscaled, and it gives you these accurate SEO keyword rich descriptions for each of the products. Now I'm going to show you one other cool thing about this. Do you notice anything interesting about these two products? Is there anything you notice about them? What you should notice is they look pretty goddamn good. And if we come here back to our original folder, I deliberately included a couple of incorrectly sized images that were just way too narrow, it just looked like shit, it didn't fit the actual print area correctly, just to show you that if you have this option selected, stretch images to fit print areas, cool, no problem, even if you have different sized images in your folder, this tool, when it does its resize operation, when it's getting the print area size for your variants and stuff, no problem. It'll just automatically resize it to where it fits, everything looks good, everything is golden. We'll step into it real quick edit design, and you can see this, this was the original image here, where is it? This was the original image, and during the resize operation, fits perfectly, fits perfectly, everything, he looks a little obese in this one, because he got stretched to the side, but uh, it's okay, it is what it is. Point is, when you have this option selected, stretch images to fit print areas, that's exactly what it does, and it does a fantastic job of it. Pixelated mountain sunset, I mean, come on, bro, that is so accurate. Pixelated mountain sunset, that's, that is like a perfect description of this image. Uh, to me, I think it's very impressive, the state of AI, the fact that we can automate so many of these tedious tasks. You know, previously you had to hire somebody on Fiverr to do this for you. You had to sit here for hours typing these descriptions. To me, it's very cool that you can just send your images, you know, you can just send the instructions and it'll just perform these tedious tasks for you automatically on autopilot. Very cool stuff. We'll pop back over here, take a look. We are at 27 out of 28, meaning as we speak, it is creating the very last product for us. The suspense is killing me. I can hardly contain myself. Go ahead, click refresh, see where we're at. Geometric Mountain Peak, again, just absolutely crushed it with the description. Uh, you know, inputting the correct terms, understanding the content of the image, 
This striking geometric artwork showcases a majestic mountain peak set against a vibrant sky, rendered in a captivating, low-poly style. Really accurate stuff, good for SEO, great for people searching for specific artwork styles. Uh, just an absolute gigantic time saver for any print-on-demand seller. Pop back over here, this operation is completely finished. Well, 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 would you look at that. So here we created 28 products, but you can imagine maybe you're doing something on a larger scale. Maybe instead of 28, maybe you're doing 280. Maybe you're doing, you know, thousands of products. That's when the time savings really start to stack up, and that's when automation tools like this become extremely useful and free up a ton of time that previously would have been spent doing these tedious tasks yourself. Instead, you can focus that time on marketing your products, customer service, basically spending more of your time on the stuff that actually gets you paid in the business instead of the menial, monotonous grunt work that's boring that you're sick of doing. Instead, you can use simple automation tools like this, automate the boring parts of your workflow, get the work done, probably a lot more effectively than you could do it yourself. Because I can tell you, if I'm writing descriptions for 200 products or whatever, I'm going to get bored, I'm going to get lazy, I'm probably going to start to half-ass it. The cool thing about computer programs and AI, they never half-ass it. They always give 100% effort, they don't complain, they show up on time, Time, they get the job done effectively and they just follow the instructions that they're given. Bulk POD product creator, check it out. You can find a link in the comments or description. You can also just Google it and find it that way. Hope you found this video demonstration helpful. Make sure to drop a like and comment for that YouTube algorithmic engagement action. Thanks again for watching and see you later.